May the great name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ be glorified. I am so glad to begin this journey through the wonderful book of Psalms with you. There is something about music that appeals to everyone. Not everyone likes sports or politics or movies, but I have never met anyone who does not like some sort of music. God evidently likes music too. The longest of the 66 books in the Bible, authored by God, is dedicated to the hymns of the Hebrews known as Psalms. The Psalms have been described as Israel's hymn book. The Psalms have been historically a foundation for both Jewish and Christian prayer. The book of Psalms is a collection of prayers, poems and hymns that focus on worshippers' thoughts on God in praise and adoration. Parts of this book were used as a hymnal in the worship services of ancient Israel. The musical heritage of Psalms is demonstrated by its title. It comes from a Greek word which means a song sung to the accompaniment of a musical instrument. The 150 individual Psalms were written by many different people across a period of thousand years in Israel's history. They must have been compiled and put together in their present form by some unknown editor shortly after the captivity ended about 537 BC. In contrast to popular thinking, David did not write all of the Psalms. In fact, Psalms includes more authors than any other book of the Bible. King David Israel's greatest king and musician, who also designed God's temple, wrote around 73 psalms. David's worship leader Asaph wrote 12 psalms. Korah, who was from a major Levite family, wrote 11 psalms. There are no designated psalmists for around 50 psalms. King Solomon wrote two psalms. Moses, Ethan, and Haman wrote one psalm each. The 150 Psalms have often been categorized into various types. Hymns. Many of the Psalms are simple hymns or songs of praise. For example, Psalm 8. Laments or complaints. These include songs that express sadness to God or complaints against God's enemies. Royal Psalms. Several Psalms were performed in the presence of kings or dignitaries. Thanksgiving Psalms. These songs of thanks include both thanksgiving from individuals and community. Wisdom Psalms Many focus on the theme of wisdom, speaking of the fear of the Lord or offering words of wisdom. The book of Psalms will broaden and deepen your understanding and experience of prayer by following these examples from our spiritual ancestors. They teach us how to express our hearts to God. Enrich your prayers and know God more deeply as He invites you into this lifelong conversation. Deep with feelings of joy, fear, shame, awe, and at times inconsolable rage, the Psalms help readers express a range of emotions in their prayers and their daily lives. The Psalmist teaches us that we can bring all our feelings to God, no matter how negative or complaining they may be, and we can rest assured that He will hear and understand. Come, join me in this journey through the book of Psalms. In the next lesson, we will study the first Psalm that teaches us about the results of good and bad behavior.